Mr. JJ here, and today we're going to be playing some more Mafia 3, or this is not Mafia 3, just Mafia, the first one, Definitive Edition. Um, I know I've been putting up a lot of Resident Evil 4 Remake gameplay, and I don't want to leave the people who's been enjoying the Mafia series hanging, so I wanted to make a gameplay. But I do got to make sure my buns are on point. And I do think we're getting close to beating this game as well. Okay, I can't sprint. I just gotta walk slowly. Well, he's not walking that slow. Let me stop. <laughs> like he, he's actually walking at a nice pace. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Gotcha. Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. All right, hopefully they got that fast car in here. I think they should still have it. Hey, what the? Bro, that actually looks nice. We actually might get on that one. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go on this silver one. Oh, this is in first person. Um, how do I get out of first person? department store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families. And that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city yeah, has but fallen... Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, lives. there we go. And only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away... Yeah, like, I was pressing, like, every button trying to... Of the 27th uh, get out of first person. That's why I was like kind of drowning so at first. Has compelled him to step into the breach once more, and we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion. Than oh, Hank I Turnbull. see. He'll bring so I don't speed, just turn on a limiter. Criminals that have made our streets their playground. Honestly, I think cars need that in real life. Because I was thinking about it the other day when I used to. Uh, uh, drive this uh, sports car that I used to have that was like my first car or whatever. I used to have uh, cruise control on there. And so every time I would go into a school zone, I would like go 20 miles an hour, then I'd put on cruise control, and then I would just cruise control through the school zone, you know what I mean? But, um,. This now with the car I have now, it doesn't have cruise control, so it's like I gotta constantly make sure that I'm going that speed. And honestly, I think like cruise control, like that limiter on this, I think that would actually help cut down a lot of the speeding. Like obviously, you're still gonna have people who speed because you know a lot of people don't sit there and care. They feel like they need to be there before. Um, the prison like they feel they need to be there um as fast as they can no matter what oh trying yeah it's still weird um how these controls are hold on i know there's gonna be a secret over here i knew it Plenty, if you don't mind the cold and the crazies. Mm. 
Yeah, I thought that was gonna actually be like a gaming card. You know the way inside. You with City Hall. You'll never evict them all. There's too many. Hmm. Now he can't crouch. Oh, he's like sneaking now. All right. I don't know. Like, I think the someone would be hiding something in here. Okay, they're not. I just thought they were gonna have like some sort of like secret or whatever. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Uh, not them calling it the hobo sign. You know, that's not politically correct. Damn, they really don't have a secret. Bro, I'm literally looking for, like, the secret cards or whatever. Because I feel like it's, it would be somewhere over here, but I guess not. Yeah, but the reason why I was bringing that up is because, like, I know there's been several times where I've been like, bro, a lot of these companies and people, like, even YouTubers... They try and act so politically correct, but we know before they were not as politically correct as they are now. Someone's like, coming through. okay, so you want me to hide? Oh. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome here. All right. Okay, I thought he had like a gun on him, but I guess he didn't. What? Why did it start buzzing? But uh, there was this one YouTuber. I'm not going to say his name, but y'all can probably guess who I'm talking about. Alright, just make, double checking that. This area. You can't go in these other extra areas, but there, like he was um, playing this one game, and then he was like, "So I get comments saying, why do I call uh, female characters, you know, the B word, right?" Oh, I keep pressing X, bro. I'm so used to the Resident Evil 4 remake controls, and he's like, oh, "I let me do that." Uh, so you already know there's gonna be a shootout. They don't, they don't just give you first aid for nothing. Why Bro. Can't you people just leave us be? Is there really no secrets? Bro, okay, there's just really no secrets. Understand that. <laughs> no, okay, he's surrendering. There you come. You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming true. Oh, what the? Oh. Okay, that was just the lighting. See, puking. Well, you know, the prison system was pretty bad. Like, I mean, it still kind of is. It's like super easy to get sick. Wait, why is there just a female one standing right here? Oh, I did not mean to do that. You know the guard tower. Uh, up through the main cell block. The key's locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. 
We're oh. Around. Yeah, no, I forgot. This isn't like an actual like prison. These are like homeless people. But back to the story. It was like, yeah, I've been getting comments on people asking why I call female characters the B word. You know what I mean? And it was like, well, that's because they are, or some. Yeah, he said that. Like that's because they are. Like, if you have a problem with me sitting there and calling them this, like, well, he said the B word again. Well, then just don't watch. Like, if I want to do this, this is what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? And, like, he was sitting there saying this. And it's like... Yo, bro. But I was just like... That's very interesting. Like, I don't have a problem with it, you know what I mean? Because, like, I mean, he's a funny YouTuber. But I just thought it was crazy how, like... Like, it was one of those things where, like, if he was to say that today, he would get canceled hard. Bro, people would not have that. People wouldn't be, um trying to collab with them or like any of that stuff you know what I mean yeah no there's really no secrets man Bro, you'd think in this prison there would be... Oh, wait, there is. Uh, so you gotta, like, find a way to get that open, I'm guessing. Then I know most players would probably forget. We're gonna see if I'm one of those most players. Oh, hey, never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget. Uh, this is this is just a note, man. Hmm. Well, they know that they share your bed. Mm. Yes, and I'm not afraid to use it. But yeah, I'm like, you couldn't sit there and say that nowadays. All them sponsors you had, mm -mm. they would not have been happy with you sitting there saying that. But yeah, I'm not going to put the YouTuber out like that, but it shouldn't be hard to know which one I'm talking about. Oh, I didn't know he was gearing up for a punch. Ouch. All right, come on. You want some of this? Come on, bro. Get whacked. Pause? I don't know. Yeah, but I forgot, like, it was, like, the homeless bullet took over the prison. Because, <laughs> like, I kind of forgot that. And I'm like, hmm, why are there, like, all these people just randomly in here with no, um, uh, security officers? There'd be more of you to evict us. Am I close to the guard tower? Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. I 
can go ahead and get the hell. Yeah, I should probably start looking at my map, you know? Okay, this is where I came from. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't just come back around like that. To that door. Yeah, but that's kind of why, like, I also don't believe in the politically correctness. Like, not saying I don't think people should be, like, try to be, like, correct and nice to people you know what I mean but what I am saying is I know that a lot of people who front like they're politically correct aren't really politically correct you know what I mean like they make you believe that they are and maybe they have changed themselves to be more politically correct but at the end of the day I do think a lot of people have done and chose to do or have at least thought about politically incorrect stuff you know what I mean and I think if you did that you don't really have the right to judge somebody What? Did I die? Because it made that sound effect like you die. Uh, okay, I was about to say. How long have I been out? All I gotta do is sit there and ditch the gun. I like how my health is like low. I like it when games do that. There is a secret, finally. Yeah, that's literally what I've been waiting for. I'm on the whole wrong side. Hmm. You gotta be stealthy. <clears throat> Bruh, if this was Hitman, just switch it outfits and then you'd be straight. Brad thought he was going to hit him with the DDT. Kicking my. Get him! 
Hey, what? Bro, I don't even have a gun out or anything. I could have just been a regular person. Now y'all gotta die. Bro, where am I getting shot from? Oh, up top. Probably. Oh, it's not. I couldn't see. I didn't see that um, thing right there. And so, of course, I just ran into it. Like, that would have been the one time, like, an uh, the auto vault would have been, like, nice. Because that would have auto vaulted. And I would have been like, oh, there's a thing right there. And then I would have been able to quickly take cover. But it's all right. We're... we're like I don't know, like detain everyone you see. Like, kind of what I was thinking though was um. Where's the shooter? I, I don't. Uh, where's the fucking shooter? Where is he? Please, no, please no. <laughs> nah, see, I don't like that police brutality stuff. Okay, so you could stay upstairs, huh? Or maybe I didn't get to that part where I fall off. Oh my goodness. You're surrounded. You can't escape. Every cop in the city is outside. Turbo is a good man. You're the good man. What defines a good man? Yeah, bro, he lucky that dude had his back, man. I was about to whoop him right there. I, wait, do I still have the sniper rifle on me? If I don't, it's fine. Because I, I think I can pick up one of their, like, revolver weapons. Yeah, I'll just pick up one of the revolver weapons, hopefully. Shotgun's perfect. Completely missed. I know y'all saw him shoot through that thing. I thought there was one. Oh. oh, I missed. If only if I didn't miss. Bro, if I didn't miss that shot, I could have killed both of them right there. I went back and just, boom, completely missed. That's not my fault, though. We're good. We are all good. 
Give up! You're surrounded! You can't escape! Every cop in the city is outside! Turbo was a good man! Hear that? Good man! Oh, he can see me. Get it, I don't think he could see me. Go oh, get down. Ooh. I like how they don't automatically know where you are like in GTA. That stuff ticks me off in GTA. When they just automatically know where you are. Oh, that's funny. I'm rolling down the steps. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting me. Let's go. Too easy. Nah, bro, how do you know? I thought I switched to the shotgun. Dude over there talking about don't pull that trigger as he's literally shooting me. <laughs> bro, they better start me from outside. <laughs> Cause I made it outside fair and square. That's wild. You're surrounded. You can't escape. Every cop in the city is outside. Purple was a good man. Hear that? A good man. Not this gun only. Able to have two um, shots in it. That's my fault though, because I am getting impatient. But in my defense, that's because I shouldn't have been put right here. There it is. I did not see him, man. Bro, come on. <laughs> That's my fault. Like, I, I was extremely impatient right there. But, like, man, I had ran past the whatchamacallit. I think if I would have saw it, I could have survived. Because I don't think the shotgun would have done enough damage to kill me there. If it would have hit me. And then I also would have had those bars... So not every single shot would have got me. Some of those shots would have hit the bars. All right, let's do this. 
Give up! Is. You're surrounded! No. You can't escape! Every cop in the city is outside! Burko ah. is a good man! Hear that? A good man! How did he shoot me? Bro, there is literally no way for him. Oh, snap. Okay. Maybe him, yeah. Bro, you taking all day. Bro, if we would have got shot twice, I would have been super salty. I'm dead. I gotta push up on him. Yo, bro. That was something straight out of a horror movie. Bro, that is a wild man. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that, that sniper should have killed me there, right there, when I said, you know, pulled out. He said, reload. <laughs> Alright, we got it this time. I think that time, no, it's because I went to pull the lever down, and when I went to pull the lever down, they got like a free shot on me, and I'm just like, wow. So, if they didn't get that free shot, dude would have been dead. You can't escape. Every cop in the city is outside. Turbo is a good man. Hear that? A good man. Crap. Bro, I stood right there. Well, really, I just want to shoot you. An angle. Gonna need a lot more than that. We out this piece. Bro, I know I did not take fall damage from that. That's wild. And it didn't let me sprint. Here's the thing. Well, at least he had a hot death. <laughs> no, but here's the thing, though. I didn't expect the cop to be right there. Bro, don't start me from the beginning again. The is in there we go. Thank you. Officers on Central Island. Suspect has been lost. Keep patrolling. See, he's not even here anymore. Yeah, all these other cops. Here, let me get this blue one. I do like this light blue color scheme. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols.
This almost looks like the background on my um, on my uh, channel thing. Turn that off, bro. I constantly get copyright claims <laughs> with this mafia stuff. Yeah, but baby blue is honestly a nice color. Dare I say it's kind of underrated. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not going to lie. It's only because I'm trying to look at this. That is baby blue, right? Or is that like... I don't know. Either way, the color is nice. Hey, there's another car exactly the same, but black. Object is literally drive home. Uh, for a game not called Grand Theft Auto, we sure do a lot of driving. Dang. I was trying to make it um, home without crashing, but I didn't feel like stopping. I mean, I guess we could have parked in the garage, but what's the fun in that? Tommy, did you park up on the lawn again? <laughs> did you hear about this turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. Got right, a trophy of you from the top. And I guess that kind of ties into what I was saying earlier. But in a counterpoint, maybe like um, kind of like how, you know, he's just killing people and without knowing that. I don't know. I'd say it after this cutscene. Excellent. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems... I don't know. Small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. 
The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. You're very reassuring. So what, then we got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. Got to play this one cool. So we're going to steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. And kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. Let's see if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. Yeah, but what I was going to say was like, yeah, like I did talk about how some act politically correct, but you know, that may not be their intentions or whatever. I will sit there and say this. You don't know everyone's intentions. And so it honestly, like I sit there and said before, like I honestly believe the YouTuber, what he said, like I didn't have an issue with that because I know where he's coming from. He's really just saying that to be funny. You know what I mean? Like, that's why he's calling those female characters in video games the B-word. You know, I'm sure he doesn't just think, oh, it's just some, you know, like, some low water type person. But it's like, you also kind of got to know the situation. That's another reason why you can't sit there and judge people. You got to know their situation. You got to understand where they're coming from and understand why they're doing it. Oftentimes we don't understand that. So it kind of ties back into what I said, like a little bit. Either of you need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. But yeah, it was just like kind of like on the opposite end. playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I had a figure there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? 
What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the Don? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri? Well, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know? Wake up. We're here. <laughs> Tom, we take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. He's a, I feel like he's a snitch. Like he's snitching on us. About something. Like I feel like he has like a plan to betray us or something. I don't I wanna see something. <laughs> Bro, I just wanted to see if you can like hit up and kill him. Alright, a custom truck. Do they mean like a semi truck? No, I, I know what they're talking about. Oh, wait, I could just follow this. Okay, that's actually the truck I was thinking of. I just. Yeah, so that's like the precursor to that. Like, I was pretty sure they were the other way, but okay, okay. They're just gonna teleport over there. And it's gonna be like, oh, what took you so long, Tommy? It's gonna be like, well, getting the custom truck wasn't as simple as I thought it'd be. You know, yeah, it would turn into one of those dialogues. Nah, but one thing I will say is like the games always make this does look so easy, but in real life Well, I guess back in the day it would have been a lot easier But You'd still need bigger like Mark a bigger up over crew. there Tom Where's my uniform? Uh, uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. He actually said it. Forget about it. <laughs> Make say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. Hey, 
You comfortable back there, Top? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is? Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. You got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right. Busy night tonight. You might not find the spot. <laughs> Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. I feel like Paul is gonna get one of us killed. Well, obviously not Tommy, but... Do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're no. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemian. Shipped off on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Find us when you're done. Now, like how, like, there wasn't stuff over that door, but then as soon as the cutscene in, there is. Guess I got guys working over that tonight. Do I gotta knock him out? Oh, I didn't even realize before, but his teeth were getting knocked out. And literally all you have to do, hide them over here, take their costumes, well, their uniform, <laughs> and then continue with your business. You know what this kind of reminds me of? A way out a little bit. Cause I think it's um, took place around the same time period. Huh. This will help. Come on. Huh. All right, and I'm gonna kick that. Sounds like we got trouble. No, that's my bad. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Bro, why do you spin around like a ballerina? Oh, they're both knocked out. All right, let's go. Found him. Oh, that's GG's.
<laughs> Alright guys, I'm about to end the gameplay right here. Um, thank y'all for tuning in, those of you did. Don't worry, more Mafia is coming. <laughs> I had to work so hard not to save three. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Pretty sure I already said that. And remember, J's up, L's down. Till next time. Bye.